Hey everyone, uh, Mr. Bollig here, Hour 2 Math, what's up? We're rocking it out. Let's do some math. Orders of operations. I figured we need to do a little review. Our brain's been on break for a while. When we look at orders of operations, we have PEMDAS, or if you're old like me, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P stands for, everyone, you're right, parentheses. E stands for exponents. M, multiply. D, divide. A, addition, S, subtraction. And we always follow this exact order. I did a couple problems, and I'll talk you through it. We have 4 times 3 plus 2. So we have to do multiplication first. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 2, we get 14. Now, I like to do step by step because that's just what I do. My brain has to work longer than faster. If you can do this in your head, Okay, but I'd like you to at least write down a couple steps to make sure you got it right so I can see if you mess up, where you're messing up, and I can help you fix it. So at least do two steps. Here we have parentheses first. We have to do what's inside the parentheses, even if it's adding. We go right here, parentheses. Inside the parentheses, it says 3 plus 2. Outside the parentheses, times 3 minus 1. So 3 plus 2 is 5, times 3 comes down, minus 1. 15 minus 1 is 14. Okay, one more problem. We got a bunch of everything here. You have parentheses, you have an exponent, you have division, you have subtraction. Doesn't matter if they're in this order or if they're in a different order. You still have to do it the same way. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 comes out. Parentheses are gone. 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now let's try this. Let's say 3 minus 2 plus 4 times, let's say, 6 minus 1. What do we have to do first? Parentheses. You are absolutely correct. Parentheses. 5. 6 minus 1. Five. Now, this is why I like to rewrite it, because we're out of order. Everything else comes down. What's next? Yep, you're right. Multiply. Four times five. Twenty. Rewrite it. What's next? Add or subtract. You're right. We have to add first. Two plus twenty. You have twenty-two. Three minus twenty-two, which is twenty-two. 21, 20, 19 equals negative 19. Why is it negative? Because 3 is in front of 22, so you have to subtract it left to right because we do everything left to right here in America. Schoology's got a few problems. You can do this. If you are struggling with it, make sure you get a hold of me. I would love to help you. And remember, you always can use a calculator. Have a great day, everyone.